Hey, did anybody ever tell you that you look racist? Because apparently that's a thing. So, here's something kind of ironic. A new study by researchers in Delaware says that you can tell by how a man looks whether he's racist. Yeah, that feels wrong, but let's check out the theory. So a man's facial structure has a lot to do with his testosterone levels during puberty. When a guy goes through puberty, testosterone levels skyrocket, and depending on how high those levels are, his cranium actually gets wider and blockier. The distance between his cheekbones and his midbrow gets compressed, and the researchers call this the facial width to height ratio. So guys with a higher facial width to height ratio have higher testosterone. And certain studies say that higher testosterone is linked to aggressive behavior, including more inclination to cheat and reduced activity in the orbitofrontal cortex, which is apparently the bit that keeps impulse control and inhibition on lock. So these researchers round up 70 guys and they test to see if that low social inhibition would make men with higher facial width to height ratios more likely to express racist views than men with a lower ratio. And apparently the answer was yes. But here's something fun. We all apparently associate that facial type with being racist because the researchers showed pictures of the 70 subjects to a whole other group of people and said, point out anyone you think looks racist. And everybody chose the guys with the shorter, wider faces. Now, keep in mind, these guys were put into a situation where they were prompted to see if they'd make racial statements. When the researchers checked for an implicit racism, like an automatic association of other races with bad things, there was no correlation to the face shape. So maybe these guys are more able to be goaded into saying something stupid, but it doesn't mean they're just automatically racist. More interesting to me is the fact that we expect them to be racist, and potentially by treating them that way, we reinforce that behavior in them. Potentially the researchers even did that by asking their questions. By looking for some physical cause of prejudice, we actually found a completely different physical prejudice. Personally, I am prejudiced towards studies like this because I think trying to peg behavior too much to somebody's physical appearance is a very scary road to go down. What do you guys think? Can you tell somebody's personality by their face? And guys, let's be kind and thoughtful when we answer, okay? And be sure to subscribe for more D-News.